Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, not reached out upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore, not reached out upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. I want to go through today after the market has made a lot of song and noise about Endeavor Group. There is a lot of information out there and I want to have a look at the consensus views about what's going on, particularly at a structural level inside the company. Since being spun out of Woolworths, Endeavor has had some fairly interesting periods. There's no doubt the board has had some problems, particularly around the direction of its overall alcoholic business, particularly Dan Murphy's. But it's not just that, it's also the hoteliers business. And that's where a lot of the discussion this week has been around the value that could be extracted from it, particularly around things like costs. There is no doubt there is line and sort of every part of the whole line on the hoteliers business could get more efficient. That's very clear. There's no doubt also that it probably could see some form of upgrading across their whole network system would improve it as well. And along with the offering that could be much, much more synthesized into a simplistic offering with a simplistic brand across it, that's what everybody's now discussing. That's what you hear with that higher level discussion and talk. And for that reason, it makes Endeavor interesting, but not necessarily more than that. And I think that needs to be put out there very clearly. The consensus is somewhere between neutral and some are moving towards a slightly overweight position. But overall, looking at what we can see and what the data tells us, at the moment, Endeavor's still got a way to go, but it is one to start watching because there is no doubt it is going to start making bottom-up structural changes to the business. It is getting away from those board fights that we've seen, particularly through 2023, and is now starting to move towards the future. So watch this space. It's not a company that normally gets seen, and maybe it should. 